As compared to that, if we realize the orders for the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for all of us regarding Friday are very very light and they are very easy as compared to the people of bani israel for example the orders of uh, juma they are explained in surah juma in quran where allah says that o oh believers when the call for prayers is made on friday hasten to the remembrance of allah and give up all forms of trading that is better for you if you only knew and in the next verse allah says but when the prayer is ended disperse in the land and seek allah's bounty and remember allah much so that you may prosper so if we gather from here we see that the orders for all of us on friday are just from when from after the azan till the Muslims they do what <coughs> they listen to the friday sermon and they offer the congregational salah and that is all and the reward which has been promised is immense as we learn from the words of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that whoever takes a bath and purifies himself as much as he can and then he wears clean and neat clothes and for men they do what they wear a perfume as well and then they go to the mosque and they do not force apart people and sit in between them and they sit silently and they attentively listen to the friday sermon and then they offer the two rakats of the congregational salah then the sins from the previous friday to this friday will be forgiven subhanallah how immense how immense reward has been promised to all of us for such limited period of worship as compared to the people of bani israel but before i proceed with the discussion of uh, the people of sabbath i would want to highlight that the orders of friday for the followers of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are obligatory and there are so many so many narrations of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he has clearly explained the punishment of the people who leave the friday congregational salah without any any actual excuse i would want to narrate a few narrations of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu has reported in Musnad Ahmad and Bukhari that Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that I feel I should ask somebody to stand in my place to lead the prayer this is what Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about the Friday congregational salah I feel that I should ask somebody to stand in my place to lead the salah and i myself should go and set fire to the houses of the people who do not come for the friday prayer similarly hazrat abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he has reported in musnad ahmad in muslim and nasai that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that people should refrain from giving up the friday prayers otherwise allah will seal up their hearts and they will become totally heedless and similarly has a jabir bin abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and abdullah bin uh, abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu they have reported that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said that allah seals up the heart of the person who abandons three friday prayers one after the other that is consecutive three friday prayers he leaves without a genuine excuse or a reason and a lawful excuse rather in one tradition prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah turns the heart of such a person into the heart of a hypocrite allahumma tawhir qalbi min adnifaki and this is reported in musnad ahmad and abu daud nasai tirmidhi and ibn maja all the books of hadith similarly hazrat jabir bin abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he reports <coughs> he reports in ibn maja that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said from today till the day of resurrection 
Friday prayer is obligatory on you. And Allah will neither bless nor set right the condition of one who abandons it, disregarding it or considering it as an ordinary thing. Note it well, the prayer of such one will not be a prayer at all. His zakat will not be a zakat at all. His hajj will be no hajj. His fasting will be no fasting. And no good deed done will him will be accepted until he repents. And then for the one who repents, Allah is most forgiving. اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطاخرين استغفر الله ربي من كل ذنب واتوب اليك Hazrat Abdullah bin Amr ibn Ulas has reported in Abu Daud that Prophet sallallahu alaihi said the Friday prayer is obligatory on every person who hears the call to it and Hazrat Hafsa رضي الله تعالى عنها she reports in a side that Prophet sallallahu alaihi said Attendance, the Friday prayer is obligatory on every adult male. And similarly, it is also reported that the Prophet said that the congregational prayer of Friday is obligatory on every Muslim except the slave. Because obviously, he is dependent on the rules and the orders and the commands of his master. On every Muslim except slave, women, children and the sick. And this is this has been reported in Abu Daud. And Prophet ﷺ has also been reported to say that Friday prayer is obligatory on the person who believes in Allah and the last day. Unless it is a woman, it is a traveler or a slave or a sick man. So this is the importance of the Friday prayers and the obligatory, how obligatory it is and how important it is to maintain it. And what is the punishment of the people who leave it without any genuine and any lawful excuse?